All right, what's up everybody? So back at it, another video. This is not gonna be a review. This is just gonna be talking about sheaths for ballet songs. So I'll jump straight into it here. This is the original sheath that was shipped out from Microtech with the metal mark. Okay, nice sheath. It does its job, but it's, you know, everybody complains about everything when it comes down to sheaths because some people like these, some people like myself don't. I don't like it at all. I mean, it's it's great that they put this in the package to put your knife in. You know, it, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong there. I, I don't want manufacturers to stop giving out sheaths just because, you know, people like me don't like them. There's a lot of people out there that do like them and they don't want to have to pay extra for them, especially for the price of the knife that's going into the damn thing. But I'm not a big fan of it. So I went out on a mission to get a different sheath. Now, originally, this was made for my Benchmade 85. It's a alligator skin, black and red. It's got a regular belt pocket clip, or not pocket clip, regular belt loop clip on it, or belt clip on it, I should say. Uh, you do have an option. You can put one of those tactical clips on it that'll, that'll grip right inside your front pocket. This sheath fits comfortably in your front pocket. So if you, I'll show you real quick. You put this thing in your pocket that's basically what you have now unfortunately it doesn't grip on tight enough to where if you go to pull the knife out it's coming with it all right so that's what i mean if you get that tactical clip you should be all right there but as far as fitment in your pocket the thing's freaking awesome as far as quality grommets leathercraft this is the second sheath that i've purchased from them and both of them are absolutely Excellent, excellent, perfectly executed. I mean, they're really good sheaths. Like I said, originally this was made for my 85, but the knife is nice and snug in there. It's been carried several times, whether the pocket or the belt, and it's still holding up very well as far as the color and everything goes. You can see very, very minimal wear here. That's something to expect from leather. And this is about the same size thickness as what the Benchmade 85 is, so pretty nice sheath. Now, I don't like, I just don't like these ones. So, you know, the ones that Microtech comes up with, they're great for some, but not for me. And that's why I chose to go this direction. I've always liked leather and I like fancy type leather, you know, so that's why I went with this. But anyway, this will fit quite a bit of different ballet songs out there. I don't know if I would recommend it for like a 42, 62, you know, that series, because they actually make one that's a little bit thinner for that model. This one is wider, because obviously the Benchmade 85 and 87 is quite a bit wider than what the 42 is. Matter of fact, if you look at this Jerry Hom side by side with the 85, you get a pretty good idea of what the 42 is side by side there. So definitely a wider knife. Thickness is about the same, but definitely just wider. So you'll save a little bit of space on it if you were to get the, you know, get the smaller size or whatnot. But it all in all, it fits. It's going to work for you. So on with the next one now. The sheath that Benchmade sends. So not only am I bagging on Microtech sheath, I bag on Benchmade. Benchmade does have a nice sheath here, okay? They've held up over the years really well, and they actually got shittier than this over the years. So I'll, I'll show you the crappiest one they've ever designed and made. But this is a good sheath. I'm just not somebody that's into trusting, at least these days, with the price of these freaking knives, man. You know, if they put this in the box, even for a 62, you're looking at paying almost $400, if not more now, which is freaking crazy, okay? I'll go for a 29 knives over $400 any day before I get a damn bench made, all right? I really did not like the 6X series. I did like the 4X series. I do love the 85. That's actually a really, really freaking good knife. And I like the 51. Fortunately, I don't have one and they discontinued it. So I'll wait for the next model to come out and see how good they do. But the sheaths that they're given with these expensive knives, great. I mean, it comes with something. But I just, I don't trust the craftsmanship of it to hang it on my belt. 
And I know there's people out there that'll tell me I'm full of shit. That's great because they probably carried it around for years with one of these things. I mean, I still see some of the old bench maids with the original sheath that have been used and they're still holding up. But we're talking about USA made shit back then that actually always held up. You know, these Taiwan, China, wherever the hell they're coming from, they're hit and miss with the quality. Okay, there's not like people standing over their shoulder making sure that they got the best quality going out the door, even though Benchmade's name was on it. You know, I've had some of these sheets in the past where they tore, they ripped right here, and I never even freaking used it. That's the shitty part, all right? So you can see the threads coming out, and then you can just pull it, boom, there you go. So I went to Shields out in Colorado, and I replaced it. I bought another one because that's where I got this. And that's, they sell them there. They sell the sheath by itself. So rather than ordering it off Blade HQ and all that, I went to pick one out myself. That way I could check the whole freaking quality myself. And this one, as you can see, the stitching is all perfect. And that's why I picked it. But still, I would not put my $600 knife in that thing and carry it around. At least not very long. Next sheath. This is... It's nice, okay, but it's not what I would expect to carry around a freaking $600 knife in either. This came with the 85 and the 87. It is pretty cool. It's a good thought, all right, but I don't like the Velcro. I really don't like that. So on my other model, my 87 <coughs> that I originally had, I bought a steel pocket clip, and I put that steel pocket clip in here and put a rivet through it. And then I carried it. I was able to put it in my pocket and use this thing, you know, carry it all the time. It was the green one back when they came out with the 87. So I used it quite a bit. It is a nice sheath. It's gonna hold up for quite a bit of time. You know, originally these are made for gun magazines, but it works very good on a knife. So I'm not saying that this is a absolute failure as far as a sheath goes, but it's definitely not to my expectations just because of the fact that there's no clip on it. Now you can carry this on your military clothing. And like I said, it's got the Velcro that you're gonna use. Eventually Velcro is gonna wear out. It's not gonna stick as much as it should. You know, things like that. Everybody knows about all that stuff and it's gonna take a while to get there. But with the pocket clip, a steel clip, that's not gonna happen. They could have put the I cannot remember the name of that clip. I talked about it with this one where it actually, in, in uh, Gromit's leather, will actually put one on it. I think it's called, I don't want to say G clip because that's a spider coat thing, but something like that. Um, Microtech's using them on some of the new knives coming out for the SBD and stuff like that. They're daggers. I just can't remember. Tack clip is the only thing I could think of off the top of my head right now. I don't actually have one of those clips yet, and that's, you know, that's something I got to get. But to have one of those on here would have been absolutely perfect is what I'm getting at. This would have been a much better sheath. It's got a very tight fit. It's nice and snug. I don't know how waterproof it is. You know, if you're going to wear it out into the rain, the elements of, you know, snow and stuff like that. I've never tried it. But I also don't know how the gun, you know, the clip magazines hold up either because I don't carry anything like that. This is mainly the type of stuff I carry. Next sheath. You can buy these from JK Designs. You can buy these from actually a lot of belly song manufacturers out there if they make them. You know, they're going around. This one specifically says JK on it. Got it from them at the Blade Show 2022 along with this knife. So as you can see, it slips in and out fairly easy. There's really not too much tension, but this one goes in the pocket. So it's got the clip on it. Show you that real quick. You can see that hides in the pocket very well. It doesn't come out too easy. The knife does. You can actually grab the knife and pull it out. So I don't recommend going out to the park and doing somersaults with the kids because you'll probably end up with it stuck in your ass at some point. So it does come out fairly easy. The sheath does stay in your pocket like it should. And that's mainly on any pair of jeans that I've had so far. There's not a lot of tension on it, but since the knife doesn't actually sit in there really, really tight, 
That allows it to remain in your pocket and the knife to come out fairly easy. But like I said, it's definitely not something you want to go out to the park and do some flips around with the kids and things like that because it will, you know, it'll fall out. But great option. It's made of leather. They say that it holds up pretty good, but as you can see, I've probably carried this thing about six or seven times in a pants pocket, and it's already showing wear. So we'll see just how long that coating lasts. But that one's from JK Designs. I can't remember the, if you look on JK Designs website, it'll actually have the manufacturer of the sheath on there. And you can fit many different kind of ballet songs in there. Your Jerry Homs, your Benchmaids, and almost, well, I wouldn't put the Benchmade 6 series in here just because you're probably going to be cut off right about there. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to grab it because it's a shorter knife. I'd say anything that's about a five and a half to six inch handles on a ballet song would be great in here. And it's also fairly wide. You can see that this is a wider knife. Just by design, it's a wider knife. I think it's actually even wider than what the Benchmade 85 is. Just slightly, not too much, but just slightly. But a great option. If you're, if you're into carrying your latchless belly songs, this is a great idea. Finally, we'll get to the last Gromis Leatherworks. I just received this one last week in the mail. Ordered it about three weeks ago. This is just your basic slip sheath. As you can see, for the basilisk eye, eye basilisk, however you want to say it, this is actually a perfect fit. It goes all the way down to the bottom. And this one I'm still trying to break in. So I wore it at work just to get it all nice and sweaty and all that good shit so I can, you know, work in the leather, get it to hang on to the knife a little bit better. So it opens up at the top. You got no problems getting to the knife. Now they do make one that has a cutout right here as well. So it's got like a V cutout here where you can just grab your knife and pull it out. They also put pocket clips on these, that tack clip that I'm talking about, or you can just get your standard steel clip like one of these. They'll do it in black or silver. So they do have an offering with this kind of a sheath with the pocket clip on it, which next time I'm going to get. I just wanted to do the slip just for, for the first one. This does carry really good in your pocket. If you wear baggy pants, it's going to roll all around just like if you were to have your knife in your pocket. The only difference being that your knife's not going to open up on you because it's inside of here. But if you wear a little bit tighter fitting pants, then this thing, it, it works perfect. So I wear, I wear both every once in a while, right? Got tighter pants when I go out somewhere nice. I got the baggy pants when I'm just chilling. So when you do put these, when you do put this in a pair of tighter jeans, it fits absolutely perfect. You slip it right down into the pocket towards the inside and it does not tumble around and end up sideways in your pants like this, like it does in your bag of your pants. So great, great sheath. I really like the quality of these garment leathers. Really, really high quality stuff. You can get them in a bunch of different colors. You can get the stitching different colors. I chose to go with the black stitching on this tan. So it looks pretty nice. The next one I will be doing black, black leather and red stitching. And I'll have that clip. So when I get that sheath, I'll show you guys that one. And let you know what I think about it and how it actually grips into the pocket and how easy it is to use. This is your gentleman's carry slip sheath though. You know, if you're going out in a pair of slacks, I would say this is the way to go. Just because you can kind of just jam it down into the pocket and leave it there. Now, if you're looking for a quick draw sheath, I would go with something like this, you know, up on the hip or possibly something like this. I mean, this thing works great. Like I said, the knife comes out, but if you have this knife and that sheath, it's not going to come out as easy. All right. This knife will hang up in the sheath a little bit harder and the clip will not hold that sheath in your pocket so that you can pull that knife out. So it's also about what knife you're putting into the sheath. that's going to make a difference as far as quick draws and all that stuff. They also, I think they make a cross draw sheath too that you can have custom made by Gromit's Leather for a ballet song. That'll allow the knife to either sit this way or that way in the small of your back on your belt or on your hip, you know, so you can just whip it out real quick, flip it open, you're good to go. But all in all, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. 
Take a look at Grommets Leather. Obviously, there's a bunch of other leather manufacturers out there, but Grommets is the one I chose to go with just because I had such a great experience first time getting this one made. And the quality is just, it's, it's good to me. It's what I need. All right, everybody. Peace out.